Hi folks, we received some very exciting news this week, which is that Skywatcher will be releasing two brand new strain wave gear telescope mounts in July 2024, the Skywatcher 100i and the Skywatcher 150i. So in this video, I wanted to discuss the features of both these brand new mounts, and I will also compare the features to harmonic drive mounts that are already available on the astrophotography market in 2024, like the ZWO AM3, the AM5, and also the Ioptron HAE29. Let's go! Unlike traditional German equatorial mounts, harmonic drive mounts or strain wave mounts feature a compact, lightweight design, which is ideal for portable setups. They don't necessarily need counterweights due to their unique motion mechanism, although adding an optional counterweight does enhance the stability and increases the payload capacity of strain wave gear mounts. The mounts offer minimal backlash and smooth tracking, which is great for astrophotography. However, one persistent myth is that they are better at tracking the night sky as compared to traditional German equatorial mounts, which is not necessarily the case. Yet, their portability, accuracy and convenience render them a compelling choice for many astronomers and astrophotographers. So let's compare prices of the Skywatcher 100i and the 150i to other harmonic drive mounts that are available on the telescope market in 2024. And of course, you can find links to the telescope mounts in the video description below. Priced at 1695 US dollars, the Skywatcher 100i is slightly more expensive than its direct rival, the ZWO AM3, which is currently priced at 1499 US dollars. Considering portability, the mount head of the 100i weighs 4.3 kilograms, which is slightly heavier than the ZWO AM3's 3.9 kilograms. Nonetheless, the 100i offers a higher payload capacity of 10 kg without a counterweight and 15 kg with a counterweight, exceeding the AM3's range of 8 to 13 kg. For those ready to make a slightly higher investment, the Skywatcher 150i is priced at $2195, which is just above the ZWO AM5 and Ioptron's HAE29, both priced at $1999. In terms of weight, the Skywatcher 150i weighs 5.8 kg, which is slightly more than the ZWO AM5 at 5.5 kg, with Ioptron's HAE29 being notably lighter at 3.7 kg. However, the Skywatcher 150i offers a superior payload capacity, ranging from 15 kg without to 25 kg with a counterweight, whereas the HAE29 and AM5 boast capacities of 14 and 13 kg without to 18 and 20 kg with a counterweight. All right, so let's look at some specific features of the Skywatcher 100i and 150i. Both the Skywatcher 100i and 150i feature stepper motors and a 300 to 1 reduction ratio strain wave gear, mirroring the setup of the ZWO AM3 and AM5. Meanwhile, the Ioptron HAE29 also features stepper motors with a higher reduction ratio of 640 to 1 for right ascension and 480 to 1 for declination. A higher reduction ratio allows for slower shaft rotation with greater torque, leading to more precise tracking and minimal backlash. Both Skywatcher mounts feature an extra SD4 guiding port. The 150i also features an extra USB 3.0 port and two DC power outputs to power your astrophotography gear from the mount to avoid cable snags. The 100i comes with a dual saddle option, enabling the setup of two imaging rigs while just using one mount. This could reduce imaging time to capture objects with two setups. Optional extras for both Skywatcher mounts include an AC adapter to power the mount, a pier extension tube which adds an additional 18 cm of height to accommodate longer telescopes, and an optional lightweight carbon tripod weighing 2.4 kg. Both the Skywatchers 100i and 150i offer wireless connectivity options with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. 
although it's not yet fully explained how to control the mount wirelessly, like using an app on your smartphone or tablet as with other smart telescope devices, this information will likely be clarified soon. So stay tuned and subscribe for future updates. Both mounts also feature a traditional hand controller port for the optional Skywatcher SynScan hand controller and a USB port for connecting and controlling the mount via external applications such as EQMod or external devices like the ASI Air Plus. So how do you feel about these brand new mounts? Share your thoughts in the video description below and for a complete overview of all harmonic drive mounts that are currently available in 2024, check out a link to my blog in the video description. Wishing you clear skies and see you in the next video.